In this video, we're going to walk through on how to get your domain connected via GoDaddy. What you want to do is make sure you have two tabs open, one for Snap Pages and one for GoDaddy. Make sure you're logged in into both of them. First, we're going to take a look into the side of GoDaddy. Once you have logged in, you want to make sure to click on your name on the top right hand corner and click the little arrow. And then you want to click where it says My Products. Once you've clicked My Products, it should take you to this page right here where you should see your domain. What you'll want to do is click the three little dots right above your domain, and then you should be able to click where it says Manage DNS, and that should take you to the page we need to focus on. In here, what you'll want to do is scroll down all the way to forwarding and make sure that there is no domain forwarding set up. Then you'll want to go ahead and scroll up just a little bit to underneath name servers and make sure that these are pointed to domaincontrol.com. After taking a look at the name servers, you would want to scroll up to the DNS records section and we need to take a look and make sure that there isn't any records that will block us from getting our Snap Pages website connected. In this case, we have two records that we need to delete. First, you always want to make sure to take a look and see if there's any quadruple 4A records and delete those to make sure that our website gets connected correctly. Then this C name with the www and your domain, we need to delete this record and convert this over to an A record. Now we're ready to connect to Snap Pages. If you have any questions as far as seeing what records we need to delete, please feel free to reach out to us over at support. Now, we're gonna focus on getting these records connected. First, we're gonna focus on this A record with the at symbol and then this data. We wanna go ahead and click edit on this. And we're gonna leave the type A, we're gonna leave the name at the at symbol and we're gonna leave the TTL, but we need to focus on the value. We're gonna erase this number and we're gonna type out the Snap Pages IP address, which is 35.164.64.246. And we're gonna hit save. After adding this record, what we need to do is click where it says add, and we need to add a new record. It's also gonna be a type A. The name will be www with no dots or domain at the end, then the value is going to be also 35.164.64.246. Last thing to do is just make sure the TTL is set to one hour and then go ahead and click add record. Wait for that to update and we should be all good to go within GoDaddy. Now we're going to head over to Snap Pages. Once you're in Snap Pages, you want to head over to settings, then click on domain names and then click where it says connect a domain name. From here, you'll want to type out your domain and make sure it gets connected correctly. You don't need to add a www at the end, at the front, or add the HTTPS. Once you have typed it out just like this, you can go ahead and click continue, and then you should see your domain pop up underneath where it says domain names, and you'll want to go ahead and click on it. Once you've clicked on it, you want to make sure that the status says active in green lettering. And then you wanna go ahead and scroll down to DNS records and make sure that the target number are to our IP address and are also in green lettering. Lastly, we have one more step that we need to do and that's to turn on the SSL. To give you a little bit more information about the SSL, this is just to make sure your site is secured, especially when people go and give or give personal information such as filling out forms or giving, we want to make sure their information is completely secured at all times. So that's why we want to make sure that the SSL is turned on. From here, all you have to do is just click this switch. It will take you to this pop-up that says disable SSL. You can go ahead and click remove. Then it should pop up one more time and says enable SSL. Go ahead and click OK. And then you should see it say SSL is pending activation. While the SSL is pending activation, this process can take from 24 to 48 hours, but we've seen it work a lot faster than 24 hours, maybe even less than a couple of hours. 
just to keep in mind, we want to make sure that whenever you do turn on the SSL, it could take you to an error page that says connection not private if you try to go to the domain. That is a normal process. That just means that the SSL is turning on on the back end. And then in a couple of minutes, you should see that go away. Once the SSL is activated, you should see this little lock with the blue button, meaning that the SSL is turned on. And then if you try to go to your website, you should see this little lock right next to the URL at the very top. Once you see those, that means your website is live and you should be all good to go. Thanks for watching.